I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm going to show you how to wire a three-way light switch. One word of caution before starting any type of electrical wiring in your home. Make sure power is turned off at the main circuit panel and check at the outlet or switch fixture itself with a multimeter or with a bulb tester to make sure the power is indeed off before you begin working in the electrical box. So as you can see here we have two switches and one light fixture. This is what we're going to call switch one, this is our light fixture, and this is switch two. For a 15 amp circuit we can use 14-2 and 14-3 wire. For a 20 amp circuit breaker we can use 12-2 and 12-3 circuit wire. This is the 14-3 Romex cable that has not only a black and a white wire but also a red wire. This red wire is used for the traveler in our switch circuit today. The 14-2 wire just has a white and black, the black being your hot, your white being your neutral or return, and then the bare wire being your copper ground. Power coming into the base of this box using 14-2 wire, and we have the 14-3 wire being used between the switch box and the light fixture itself. What we've done is initially we connect the ground wires together between both Romex cables. We twist them together and then attach them to the ground nut on the fixture light switch itself. We then take the black wire coming from the power supply or the uh, circuit panel and we attach that to this black dark nut which is known as the common wire um, to the uh, three-way switch. And notice this is a three-way switch. A two-way switch um, only has two connectors or contacts on it whereas a three-way has a third contact. We then take the black wire coming from the 14-3 Romex cable and attach it to the top right nut of the three-way switch. Likewise, we attach the red wire associated with the 14-3 wire coming from the light fixture to the other nut on the opposite side of the switch, on the left-hand side of the switch. And then finally, we take the two white wires, one coming from the base 14-3 uh, two wire and the other wire coming from the 14-3 and we twist them together and put a wire nut on. Up at the light fixture itself we have again one bundle of 14-3 wire coming in from switch 1 and one bundle of 14-3 coming in from switch 2. The first thing we do is we tie the two ground wires together, just twist them together. They would normally attach to the light fixture itself on the ground lug nut. We then attach the two red wires together uh, between the two bundles of cable. Now second of all, third of all, we take the white wire associated with, with switch 2 and the black wire associated with switch 1 and we twist them together. And this is a very important step here. We put a piece of black tape on the white wire here as this white wire now is going to be used as a hot wire. And finally, we attach the remaining black wire associated with switch 2 to one side of the contacts of the light fixture and the white wire associated with switch 1 to the second contact of the light fixture. With the second switch, we attach the 14-3 black wire that comes from the light fixture itself to the common nut on the three-way switch. This is the bottom right-hand side of the switch. The white wire that became the hot wire at the light fixture uh, comes in on that 14-3 and it connects to the top right nut. On the left top hand side of the switch we attach the red wire again from the 14-3 wire coming from the, from the light fixture we attach that to the top left nut. And then finally we take the bare copper wire which is the ground and connect it to the green nut at the bottom left hand side of the three-way switch. And so with that we'll reconnect these switches and light fixture assemblies back into their boxes and test the circuit out. So as you can see this three-way light switch is working. It's a fairly complicated circuit. Hopefully these instructions will help you. If you have any other home improvement questions visit us at HomeEditionPlus.com today.